Man, free Clayton Clark for the worst coach in the WNBA, man. The Indiana Fever needs to fire Christy Sides, ladies and gentlemen. She ruined a historical performance from Caitlin Clark as Caitlin Clark has 17 points and 13 assists tonight with really good efficiency as well. Advantage creation, setting up open looks, which had the Indiana Fever up 15 points going into the fourth quarter as the Indiana Fever will come up short by one point because of 12-0 run by Andrew Reese in the Chicago Skies. And Christy Sides did not call a timeout, not even once, man. She is one of the worst coaches in the WNBA. Her adjustments defensively was terrible. She didn't dig, rotate to Angel Reese, force Angel Reese to be a passer, especially when you see the Chicago Sides struggle to shoot the three ball uh, throughout the entirety of the game. But Caitlin Clark, you know, continued to put this team on her back. Caitlin Clark was sensational throughout the whole entire game. Uh, she hit, my, what, five threes tonight. She had 13 assists. She would have had 18 assists if Kelsey Mitchell would have catched the ball. But she was a night in the transition game. Her and Aaliyah Boston looked really good in that two-man action, uh, which the Chicago Sky had no answer for that. But you're telling me in the fourth quarter, when your best playmaker and passer and advantage creator and scorer, you didn't run no plays for her within the last three to four minutes of the game? That is embarrassing, bro. That is embarrassing for Christy Sides, bro. You run in place for Natasha Smith. They're not setting solid screens as well. And that's the reason why the Indiana Fever did not get no quality looks in that fourth quarter whatsoever. Um, I know people are going to talk about the rivalry between Caitlin Clark and Angela Reese. Both players came out and showed out. Both players lived up to the hype. Caitlin Clark was much better than Angela Reese because her responsibility to be able to vanish, create, play, make, and pass. Um, she was the reason why, you know, Aaliyah Boston and uh, Kelsey Mitchell and, you know, those players as well, right, uh, was able to get quality looks because her playmaking, her passing, her advantage creation and the gravity and the vision that she brings in that pick and roll, especially when he has the ball in their hands. But I just don't understand why Caitlin Clark is so much off the ball. Like they run the same sets for Caitlin Clark. They run an empty side pin down for Caitlin Clark to come over there um, um, to, to isolate on the top of the key and then come set, set somebody to come over there and set a pick. Um, they don't run no curl. Um, that's why I, I like the, um, you know, the Iowa coach as well because she at least ran some adequate sets for Caitlin Clark to go to her left side. Chrissy Size does not do that. So the fact that, you know, that they blew this lead, especially when you up 15 points, especially when you could clearly outplay the Chicago Size and you blew a lead like that, it all falls on the coach because I think the Indiana Fever and their players did enough to win tonight. But when you have a coach that just stands there and not call a timeout, not make no adjustments whatsoever, you got Caitlin Clark, who's your best playmaker and passer, not have a touch within a single game um, late in that fourth quarter as well when a game is close to tied and you running uh, plays for Natasha Smith. It's just crazy, bro. Um, this is sad. Um, at the end of the day, Christy Size needs to get fired. And despite the terrible coaching for Christy Size, Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever are still able to be positive. They're still able to be in the playoffs. They're, well, their record is, what, seven wins and 11 losses. So they're still able to have quality wins. But at the end of the day, this is a game that they should have had. They should have won five straight. And a four-game winning streak snap because Christy Size couldn't coach. She doesn't like Caitlin Clark. She's a Caitlin Clark hater. And at the end of the day, bruh, she did not give Caitlin Clark the ball within the last three minutes of the game. When you look at that Chicago Sky team, they kept on feeding the hot hand. They kept on feeding Angela Reese. And what did Christy Sides do? She was just allowing them to play one-on-one. -on -one. They didn't play the gaps. They didn't stunt, recover to the shooters. She didn't do no adjustments whatsoever. And they got killed on the boards. And at the end of the day, she just go to players that was not cooking at all. So, um, free Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark was unbelievable she's been unbelievable this season she's easily the rookie of the year um no WNBA player has more double doubles than Caitlin Clark since 1997 she about to surpass the WNBA in double doubles for a rookie since 1997 she's about she's about to do that and she's about to have the most double doubles 
since the WNBA existed, right? So shout out to Caitlin Clark. She's having a historical rookie season. And at the end of the day, the Fever should have had this game, especially when you had Caitlin Clark going crazy like that. But it is what it is, 